Hello. This video describes how to configure syslogging on network devices in BMC Network Automation. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to configure syslogging in BNA. And I'm going to do this for the particular case of uh, a device whose login, logout activity we want to capture as events in BNA. So the first thing we need to do is configure the device to send syslog packets to our agent. And I've done that here in a deploy to active job where I'm pushing out a, a syslog template, which is a, a template that we deliver with the system that has the commands for doing this for various device types. And I'm pushing that out to our Cisco CSS device, which is our content services switch. The command script it used to do that is shown here, where it's just configuring the device to send uh, logging traffic to our um, IP address for the local agent. Next, we need to configure the agent to receive syslog traffic. And so I'm going to do that now. I'm also going to turn on logging to file. And that's going to help us figure out what packets it's actually sending so that we could set up a filter to only gather ones of interest. So let me now log into the device to have it send some syslog traffic for us to look at. And I'll log right back out and then look at the packets that have been written to our little temp file. So there are a bunch of them here, most of which we're not going to be interested in turning into events. But the ones that are log in and log out are the ones we're going to try to allow to pass through our filter. So now that we know what we're looking for, we go and create an external event filter. And there are various ones that we deliver out of the box here, but for the purposes of this test, I've created a custom one that's looking for just these two particular strings. And it's going to create an info level event from that uh, for an info level syslog packet that we receive whose payload has those one of those strings in it. I'm also going to enable this filter now and then test this again. Now if we go and look in our event log for info level events coming from syslog, which are external category events, we don't see any. So there's some problem that's preventing the syslog traffic from being turned into events still that we're going to need to troubleshoot. So to troubleshoot, let's turn on debugging in our agent for syslog traffic and then retest this. And now we're going to be looking for debug messages. And you'll see there's a whole bunch of them here. It's useful when you're doing this to focus on the processing trail, the debug processing trail for one particular message. So let's look at the one for login and what happened to it. And uh, so that's shown here. So what happens first is we get a debug event saying it was received at the agent. 
and we built the syslog message object around it, then we logged it to file, but then we rejected it as a local echo. So that's the reason it's not making it any further in the processing to be turned into a potential event. And that's because we detected in the payload description of the packet our own IP address of our local agent, which tells us that this is a, a packet that was generated by our own communication activity with the device. And by definition, we don't ever turn those into events if we can avoid it. So the problem here is that we've been testing this by SSHing into the device from the VNA server itself. Um, when what we should be doing is SSHing in from a different platform. So let me do that now. It's easy to forget that when you're testing. So now that I've tested it um, from a different platform, If I look for external events now, I see that it did generate a login and a logout event, which is what we wanted. So now we have syslogging successfully working. Um, if you want to learn more about the debug events that we generate when you're, you're doing this uh, troubleshooting, there's a wiki page that talks about them in detail. There's also a wiki page that talks about syslog troubleshooting and the types of uh, problems you might encounter while you're doing this.